If you've been looking for a job, but haven't had any luck, you feel like your job search is failing, then you have to watch this video because I am going to tell you all the things that you need to do to fix your failing job search. So stay tuned. Hello, how are you? My name is Sarah Curdo and I am the career coach who helps people find their dream jobs where they can work less, make more money, and finally fe feel fulfilled and happy doing work that they love. So I come here every week and I drop a new video for you so that you can learn all the behind the scenes secrets. So I recruited for 15 years. I know all of the little tips and tricks that go on uh, behind closed doors that get people hired and get people amazing offers. And I've been using that my past five years as a coach where I've helped 500 over, like so I guess plus, people find their dream jobs where they're now working uh, in jobs and careers that they love. I also am the head coach CEO of a program that I've just changed the name. So if you've watched any of my old videos, you've heard me talk about the Career You Love Academy. Well, that's no more, or at least the name. The program itself is the same. But I changed it last week to the Find Your Dream Job program. Uh, but the concept is the same. It is a program where you find your dream job. And I help you do that because I have the Find Work You Love framework. It's my course. So it's like everything you need, plus weekly coaching and monthly training. So um, the the that everything else is the same, but I just felt like the name Career You Love Academy didn't do it justice. Didn't really talk about what it really was. So that is why I did it. I'm so uh, in love with the name change and how perfectly it fits. Because when you're in a job search, like yes, there are those times where you're thinking, I'll just take whatever I can get. like. I'll settle, you know, but at the end of the day, we really hope that we can find something that's dreamy, that we love, that makes us happy, where we are ex just as excited that it's Monday as we are when we wake up on Friday mornings. Uh, and that's what the program is about. Um, and that's what today's YouTube video is about. Because I want to tell you about one of my job searches. Uh, it was horrible, <laughs> okay? Uh, I was doing everything I thought was right. And I was miserable. I didn't get a single interview. I was applying like crazy. Uh, I wasn't really doing any networking because I was terrified of it. Uh, and I didn't really know how to do it. Like, and this was aging myself here, but pre LinkedIn days, but even with LinkedIn, it's still hard. Like, how do you find people to connect with? And what do you say? What are you supposed to say? How do you approach them? Like, what if they think I'm just using them? Like, you know, all those thoughts, like it's, that doesn't go away just because LinkedIn is in existence. Um, but I, um, couldn't stand it. It was a horrible time, <laughs> that job search. And I knew that any other job searches I was gonna have after, it was gonna be different. It was not gonna be the same. I refused to allow that to happen. Uh, and so that's where my framework came from is because of that time. Um, but it was failing and I got a Hail Mary. I got lucky because my dad set up a networking meeting and lo and behold, <laughs> that led to a job. Um, but uh, I know now after being a coach and after uh, interviewing and like recruiting for so many positions, how common it is for one of our job searches in our lifetimes to not work. And here's what I got to say is it's not you. It is not you. I know you think it's you. I know that brain of yours is like, I'm not worthwhile. I'm not good enough or no one wants me or they don't understand me. Why can't I get it across to them? I know you are putting this all on you and it is not 
you. There could be an issue with your approach and we definitely want to fix that, which is why I'm gonna to talk to you about the four areas that you need to check on uh, today. Uh, but it is at the end of the day, it is not you as a human being that's causing this job search to not go according to plan. So having said that, what are those four things? Because I know that's what you really want to know. That's why you're here. Uh, and I've been rambling a little bit. So uh, yeah, well, that's me. Um, speaking of an issue with your job searches, rambling could be one of them. But let's get it back on track, Sarah. Okay, so the four main areas that we would want to look at. The first is your resume. Uh, this is kind of like an obvious one. But I know when you Google, when you go on LinkedIn, when you like see what could be the problem, it's like massively conflicting advice. And we need to kind of get a resume that gets past the applicant tracking systems and make sure that we have people seeing them. And then we also need to have resumes that people are excited about, that they wanna read. I find we often focus too much on one or the other. Uh, and why don't I link to um, a couple? So you'll see them pop up, uh, some resume mistakes that you could be making, the reasons why your resume is not getting interviews. Uh, here, those are two YouTube training videos that I think you should watch because they will provide more information but we need to look at that resume, uh, especially if you're not getting interviews. So in the ratio that you generally wanna look for, and this does change all the time, and it depends on your circumstances and the industry and all that, but I would say for every 10 applications, you probably want at least one to three interviews. And we know we have a problem if you're not really getting within that. Uh, and if you have a comment or question about resume stuff, leave it below. Okay, the second thing we need to look at is your job search strategy. So this is our, is it a balanced approach? Now for me, when I was doing my horrible job search, uh, it was because I was spending 100% of my effort and time on job boards, which are soul sucking. But I have seen other people who've had failing job searches because they have spent 100% of their time on networking or too much time. Uh, we need to have a balance. And like I know for me, and I know for a lot of my clients um, who have anxious tendencies, if I spend too much time networking, my anxiety likes to tell me I'm not doing enough and that it's gonna, it's taking too, too long, it's too slow, I'm not actually doing anything but active jobs. Uh, so I know that even if you want to prioritize networking, that you should be prioritizing job boards a little bit. Um, and having that balanced approach, and we can figure out what that balanced approach looks like for you is key. Okay, the third thing we need to look at uh, for a job search is LinkedIn. Um, because LinkedIn is a powerful networking tool, but it's a powerful tool in general. LinkedIn can help you find your dream job. You just need to use it effectively. And what I mean by effectively is we need to outsource a little bit of your search to people on there. We need to get recruiters looking for you. We need to use it to connect with people we used to, to work with and old references or new people within organizations that we, we want to look at, uh, want to work at uh, so that we can use it for networking, attract opportunities to us. When we use LinkedIn effectively, it makes our job search so much easier and fun. So that is tip number three. Tip number four is your interview. So this is especially if, well, okay, there's two especiallys here. One is you are interviewing and you haven't got an offer. Uh, and I will link to the reasons why you're not getting an offer video or YouTube video that I just did, uh, because it's gonna tell you some of the reasons why. Um, maybe you're too rambly or you're, kind of have, need a mindset shift, um, or you aren't giving them what they want, or you're being robotic, or there's so many different reasons, that's a really good video, go watch it. 
The other reason, and this is an interesting mind effy sort of thing, is when you are so nervous about interviews, and so you really don't actually want an interview, and it's weird how that kind of manifests itself. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, that's psychological. Like that's a, um, a, what's it called in psychology? Uh, it's, it's not like a theory, it's like a pattern, but what we see, it's a, you see it especially in teaching, but we see it with ourselves too. If we don't want interviews, we're not gonna get interviews. We're gonna actually see it trickling down throughout the rest of the, the process where we hit easy apply and we don't network and we don't have a job search strategy because we are terrified and afraid of interviews. So if that's you, if you're nervous of interviewing, one of my oldest YouTube videos, go check it out um, because it's gonna help. Okay, you know what else is gonna help? My job search coaching week. Your, my fix your job search coaching week. <sighs> because this is a full on week of intense <laughs> getting our hands in deep into your job search and fixing all four of these areas. So it is April 10th to April 17th, that full week, it's going to have its own private Facebook group. I'm gonna go live four times in Zoom uh, where we review resumes, that's day one. People are gonna send in resumes and I'm gonna pick two to three and I'm gonna review them live. I'm gonna show you the job posting that they were that they were applying to, to show you how to figure out the keywords. I'm gonna read through the resume and you're gonna see me as a recruiter, what my six second read through look like. You're gonna see me as a hiring manager, what my 10 to 30 second read through. It's like very powerful for you to see the inner workings of a reader reading a resume and what they take home. That's day one. Day two, we're creating job search strategies that work. That balanced approach of networking, learning, mentoring maybe, networking, whatever it would make sense for you, we're creating those plans that work. Day three is LinkedIn. I'm gonna teach you how to use LinkedIn effectively so that it can actually find your dream job for you. And then day four, doing mock interviews. I know that practice is really good. And I also know that it's good to have someone like me who's conducted over 10,000 interviews hear your answer because I can see what's not working. And generally what's not working in one answer is something that's working not working across the board. So four, incredible trainings that are going to get to the bottom of why your job search is broken so we can fix it so you can find your dream job and get this it's only five dollars i know i know the link to join us is below uh you will not like once you buy in it is lifetime access, so you're not going to lose these recordings. Uh, they will all live in that Facebook group. The Facebook group will be archived after that week, uh, but it will live on, so you can go on and watch them as often as possible. I am just so excited about it because I've been hearing about a lot of broken job searches, and I feel for all of you people who are suffering because of it. Because I know from like how depressed I got during my horrible job search, um, how crappy it is. And so I also know I can fix it. So let's fix it. <laughs> let's fix it in one week so that by the next week you can finally start getting those interviews and you can show up as a human being and you can get not just any job, but your dream job, the one you want, where you're working less, making more, and are happy and fulfilled. The link to join us is below. I'll see you in that private Facebook group. If you have any questions, comment them or send me an email. <sighs> That's fix your job search. I cannot wait. See you soon. See you next week here. Bye.